Hi everyone, it's me, Lindsay, with Equip Me OT, here today to talk about car transfers following a hip replacement, and more specifically, a left hip replacement. I'm going to post a video here that I did all about the right side, but this one's gonna be by popular demand to cover the left. So getting in and out of the car with a left hip replacement is a little bit different because you're leading with your surgical leg. So I wanna show you a few pieces of equipment that I like to have handy for this transfer specifically. The first thing, and I think this is going to be for no matter what type of transfer you're doing, a draw sheet or something similar to reduce the amount of friction between yourself and the seat. This will make the entire process much, much easier, whether you are doing it by yourself or you have assistance from somebody else. This is specifically designed for this type of transfer. It's called a tubular draw sheet, and I'll have links down below, but you can also use a trash bag or they have a nylon reusable shopping bags that also work really well for this purpose. So this is gonna go on the seat behind the person who's going to be transferring. And yes, it can be removed once they are in the car. All right, so that's in place. Another thing you may or may not want to have on hand, depending on how independent you need to be with your transfer, especially immediately following surgery, is a leg lifter. I like to have these on hand just about all over the place when you're early on in that recovery process. I'm talking first week, maybe two, um, while things are really sore and um, the muscles tend to be a bit weaker. So this will help a lot in that process. The third thing I have on hand, and this may or may not be necessary for your situation, but I have a uh, transfer stool. And this one I really like because it has a handle, it has adjustable height feet, um, it can go higher or lower. I love this for really tall vehicles or really petite uh, users. So for me, this van is a little bit high. I'm five foot four. Um, I could get in and out of my Equinox, which is what the other video showed, but the van was just a little bit higher for me. So the stool is really helpful, especially for the left hip. So I'll show you how to use that as well. So first things first, let's talk about doing it without a stool, because it is possible, depending on the vehicle and depending on your personal height. The big thing is having things set up ahead of time. Two things you need to do. You need to move the seat back and you need to recline it slightly. You don't have to have the seat reclined all the way, but a slight recline in the seat is going to make it much easier to maintain those hip precautions if you have them. So keeping your hip uh, greater than 90 degrees of total flexion. Okay, so what I'm gonna do, I have my walker here as you would likely have immediately following surgery. We'll pretend we're going home. We're gonna back up to the car and I'm gonna feel the car on the back of my legs, just like this. And now I'm gonna reach back for the seat. I like to reach high on the seat, so more towards the back than onto the actual seat itself because I have this draw sheet here and it's a little slippery. So I'm gonna reach back for this seat and I'm also going to, if I feel stable enough, reach back for either this, this part of the um, door, so a part of the door. Some people will reach back for this depending on how much shoulder stability they have. It's really gonna be dependent on your mobility and your strength. So I like grabbing the door here a little bit because it feels pretty stable. Now you'll see here, I'm gonna kind of set myself back. I'm gonna reach, test the seat there. I'm gonna kind of reach back for it. Now you can see it's pretty tall for me. So I really did have to kind of put my butt really close to the edge of the seat. That's why I like the step stool. But if you were a little taller, this probably wouldn't be a problem. Now I'm going to take and put my left surgically repaired leg. The foot is gonna stay on the ground for the time being. You're going to have to tolerate a fair amount of weight through that leg during this transfer in this, with this setup. So I can either hold here or I can hold here. I like the door. And then I'm going to put my right foot up on the running board somewhere along the door frame. Okay, again, a little precarious unless you have good flexibility. But I'm gonna put my right foot here and I'm gonna push back. At this point, because I have this leg extended, I can kind of let this foot hang, okay? This may be uncomfortable, so you might not wanna sit here for long. You're gonna pitch that uh, walker out of the way. And here's where you can use the leg lifter to put some counter pressure against the foot if you're uncomfortable. And you're just going to keep the knee bent, keep the leg kind of elevated or um, straightened here. You're gonna slide back and you're gonna pivot around like this. Now you're in, you can remove the draw sheet from underneath. I've got the back of the seat back a little bit so I don't have to worry about breaking those precautions. For getting out, it's just the reverse. The right leg's gonna lead. It's actually easier to get out of the vehicle with a left hip replacement. So we're just gonna kind of pivot using that right foot, stay reclining again. Now here, we're gonna grab here and we can use this. We can get this out of the way at this point because we can slide the feet down and we can push up and stand up. 
Now I want to show that again, but with the footstool so you can see how it is a little bit easier. So how I would set this up, same as I had it before with the draw sheet in place, footstep here. Again, I have this handle, which is nice if I need it. The handle does come off if you don't need it. But I would back up to this stool and I would leave the left foot away from, it's not gonna go up. The left foot is gonna stay on the ground. So I'm right here, I have my right leg here, I'm stabilizing, I have this handle, right, hand, right foot up on the footstool. And I'm just gonna back up, same as I did before, find the seat behind me, it's right here. I can either reach up onto the seat or I can reach back here. We don't really wanna twist, again, because we're trying to avoid that. Now when I sit down, my butt's all the way back on the seat much more secure feeling than without the step stool. And at this point, you could use the leg lifter like I did before, or you can just simply slide yourself back, use your hand to assist you if you need to, and gently turn into the seat. Again, because I have that draw sheet underneath me, the movement is really, really easy because there's no friction. All right, so now I'm gonna get back out, guide with the right. I can even lift a little bit. Now I've got the step stool here. If it was already set in place by somebody else, this would require some assistance for the setup process. But I can use it to lower myself down gently and then it would need it to be moved out of the way. And now I can go away with my walker here. So that's the basics of doing the transfer for a left hip replacement. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them down below. I hope you found this valuable. And if you did, consider giving it a thumbs up and as always, if you need more information on how to stay safe and independent in your home and community, consider subscribing to Equip Me OT. Thank you.